Greetings, I'm Professor Hobo, and welcome to another Hobo Technos product review. Today's product is something that'll help you get online and stay online while you're on the road. It is the Highboost Travel 4G 2.0 RV. So what does this do? It takes the cell phone signal that exists in the air, grabs it with an outside antenna, amplifies it with an indoor amplifier, and then retransmits it off of a little antenna that's inside your vehicle. So what this essentially does is it gives you more bars and more speed. But is it any good? Let's find out. Okay. Of course, you want to know what's in the box. We have the 50 decibel booster itself. It has a nice heat sink on the back. You can mount it to any flat surface you like. Have input and output, and then it gives you some lights, which shows you what's going on. Now, of course, I'm not going to go over the manual and explain exactly what all these lights and things do. You can just look up in the manual and see how that works. Now, this is the power cable, which is pretty cool because this is actually powered by USB. So, 5 volt USB can power this thing, no problem. And if you don't have USB, you can use this cigarette lighter adapter, which comes with it. So, this turns 12 volts into USB. And then you can just plug this in and then plug this into the booster itself. This here is the indoor antenna. This is what makes the RV model the RV model because this does transmit for several feet around the antenna. And this works with cell phones, routers, hotspots, anything that's a cellular device, your tablet, anything that's got a cellular modem in it, this will boost. And again, this is 4G. If you're in an area with 5G, this is not going to boost 5G. Here you get the user manual and the warranty card. And then they include a generous amount of cable to run your outdoor antenna. So I'll put below in the screen, show you exactly how many feet that is. Okay, as for the antenna mounting bracket, you have this nice aluminum bracket. The actual antenna goes through here and this part can be screwed or VHB tape. This is like a two-sided VHB tape, which will allow you to tape this to the side of whatever. They also include these brackets, so if you want to pull mount it or mount it to the ladder on the back of your RV, you could just basically it goes through there. Then the outdoor antenna just goes through here. So this is the outdoor antenna. It's completely waterproof and sunproof and UV proof and all that. This goes through here, then this mounts to your vehicle, and then you use this white cable to go from the antenna to the inside of the booster. Now they also include a wall adapter in case you do want to power the booster from AC power. Here's the manual. It does tell you you should install the Signal Supervisor app. Now I never have needed to do this with these. It's basically an optional thing. But the app will allow you to see the signal on your phone and you can do speed tests and things like that with it. So just note the app is optional. It's not required to use this device. Basically it just tells you here how to actually install the unit and how to place the antenna. For those of you interested in the technical specifications of all the frequencies and bands that this supports, here you go. Note that Highboost does offer a three-year manufacturer warranty on their Highboost boosters. So for this review, we're going to do something a little bit different. Instead of me sitting here showing you decibels and talking about boost and things like that, I'm simply going to show you how it works. Well, actually, I'm not going to show you how it works. My friend Stan is going to show you how it works. I gave this to him to use in his home-built van for two weeks while we were out in Quartzsite because he was having problems getting a cell phone signal. And he's a YouTuber like I am, and internet is pretty much your life when you're a YouTuber. So I let him borrow this. He temporarily installed it on his van for about two weeks, and we're going to see the results of that. But since this trip was back in early February, that only means one thing. Some time travel. Greetings and welcome to the Parker Desert. We're about 12 miles or so from town. We're out here to watch the Parker 250 race, which happens on Saturday. One of the problems we have with being out in a place like this so far away from town is cell phone signal. Now, I do have my 
cell phone booster it is a very expensive WeBoo system that I bought about four years ago. But there are alternate options today of lower priced boosters that do just as well or sometimes even better than the more expensive WeBoost models. So today we're going to talk with Stan from the Saznak channel. I lent him my high boost RV booster for the past week while we've been out here camping in the desert. And we're going to go talk to him and see what he thinks about it. Now, I did not prod him or any way to tell him to say anything good about this product. I basically gave it to him for a week. He installed it on his van temporarily. So he's going to give it back to me when we're done. And we're going to find out what he thinks about it. I've got it set up kind of temporary uh, out, of, out here up on my solar, the rack for my solar panels. Uh, we got it up there and being that it's temporary, I just put a pair of vice grips on there and clamped it down for now because I'm going to give it back to Tom. So anyway, he uh, he let me borrow the uh, the booster so because uh, I had no signal here at all. So when I get it, I ran it <clears throat> when he first gave it to me. You know, come on in. When he first gave it to me, I had this box and I opened it up and I got I brought all the parts out and I, I thought you know he's going to do a review so I was I didn't want to tear it apart too much. So I tried to just keep everything right in 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 a small area. Well, my outlet here, I've got a you know outlet with USBs on here and I could just plug it in here. So I had everything sitting right here. I had the, the antenna and the booster and then the internal antenna all right here. And I couldn't get it to work. I didn't know what, you know. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. So we'll wait till more, tomorrow morning and talk to Tom. He says, oh, you dummy, you can't put it <laughs> together like that. You have to spread them apart because the way I understood it was, it, it's not this way, but it's, an analogy would be mic feedback, a, a microphone feedback like in a, on a band a stage or something. The speaker's too close to the mic, it feeds back. Well. If the antenna is too close to the internal antenna, they interfere with each other. So, what we did is I ran this cable temporarily. I keep saying temporarily because it looks terrible. But up here and out the back, up to the outdoor antenna. I ran it back here. I just laid it in here, and it has these three lights on here, and everything was working pretty good. I run this cable over to the other side, and I had it mounted up on top here. It's magnetically mounted, or there's a magnet in here. And I just stuck it right there like that and tuck this all away. And I kept getting problems about every five or eight minutes. I would have uh, the light here, uh, one of these lights, you can show them on your thing, but it's this little light in here would turn red and it is like an arrow light. So I asked him, asked Tom about it and he says, no, you probably, because they're about the same, you need to hide it behind something. They need to be farther apart. Well, my van's only so long, I can't go any farther. And he says, well, bring it down here. Instead of up on the ceiling, take it and just lay it down here. And this, this cabinet might have just enough density that it blocked the signal a little bit. And I haven't had any more trouble with it at all. I mean, it works great. Um, the funny thing, I was, you, Tom can probably explain this later on, but at the time, I only had one bar. And I thought, well, when we hook this all up, we could go up to four bars or something. And it didn't, it still had one bar but it still worked it worked better and i couldn't figure it out so maybe tom can explain that to you why that is but otherwise yeah it's been working really well i've have been using it what two weeks now a week and a half something like that you've had at least a week yeah, yeah. A week and a half so it's been working real well i can actually get online um so yeah it's 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 uh i'll probably be looking to get one i'll probably talk see if i can't talk tom out of one <laughs> <laughs> so anyway okay so you used it in quartzite that's when you set it up right no so have a suit Oh, was have a yeah, when I gave it to you? Down, down that valley. Okay. And we're close to town. That was the thing. We're real close to have Lake Havasu City, but we're only like four miles out of town. You'd think a tower would get it, but we were down in this ravine, and there was a big hill of dirt, and it was blocking that signal. Because last year we were out here and had the same phone, same everything was pretty much the same last year, but we were up closer to the highway, which that hill wasn't in the way then. But we were farther back into that that. Uh, was a valley, not a valley, a little wash. Yeah. We were farther back in there and it blocked my signal. And uh, Tom was like, oh, I got a perfect signal. Well, you had a booster. And yeah. I said, well, shit, I mean, you ought to go get a booster somewhere. He goes, hey, I've got one. <laughs> I got one new. I got this one new in the box sitting in my van yeah. that I needed to test anyway. And I says, what a better person to test than somebody who's never used one before. Yeah. Um, when it comes to this kind of stuff, I'm kind of a, 
Oh, I a dummy? Just a, yeah, yeah, dummy. I was trying to find a more elegant word than that, but yeah. <laughs> I'm just I, a dummy. I, I watched Tom do his reviews, and he's like, you know, well, the, the, the diode resistor and uh, the wire has this much resistance, and uh, you know, I'm like, just does it freaking work? <laughs> That's all I want to know. So how, has it, how well has it worked for you? Like, what's the difference between having it and not having it? Um, not having it was, I didn't have internet. It just basically, I'd, I'd click on a page and it, I'd do a, a speed test and it'd just come back as an error, just nothing. I mean, it, where, where we were sitting. At so that you li place. literally had nothing without I it. I had nothing with it. And then uh, with, and once I turned, you know, plugged all this in and actually got it set right, you know, it, um, it's been great because I didn't have any internet, um, even at night, you know, you think, well, it's, it's just real busy and I'm on a, I'm on a, pl a plan that I'm like the last person, it's a real cheap plan, therefore, I'm like the last one to get priority, okay? And I thought, well, maybe that's it. Uh, and we put the booster on, and all of a sudden, yeah, it's working. So it had nothing to do with my priority problem. It had to do with just I didn't have a signal because that big mound of dirt right there, you know? Yeah. And once we plugged it in, it it somehow sucked those in and amplified them how they do, you know? And um, all of a sudden, it's working fine. I can Now, it wasn't blazing fast, you know, but... It was enough to do videos, upload videos, download videos, you know, your YouTube, watch Netflix, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And as far as I'm concerned, that's all the, all the faster your internet needs to be. So for somebody who doesn't know who you are, you actually are a YouTuber. Yeah, yeah. So you can say say who you are, your channel. Yeah, you get the plug. Yeah, you get the I get plug. the plug, oh boy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my channel is Saznak. I was born in Kansas. Do you, do you see Kansas there? <laughs> it's Kansas backwards, Saznak. So anyway, um, that's how Tom and I met. We uh, we uh, both started our channels roughly the same time. Uh, his channel was a travel channel, and he's turned it into this uh, review channel and done very well for himself. He's 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 uh, pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> when I first met him, my 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 subscribers were going up pretty fast, and he was like, oh, he was always about thirty percent behind me, or thirty percent of whatever. If I had thirty thousand viewers, he had ten. And all of a sudden, he changed over to this his what he's good at, you know, and whew, he just took off, and he's like, what are we at, 85 now or something, something like, like that, somewhere yeah. around in there. And I'm I'm around 50, though, so yeah, he 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 blew by me around what August or so, somewhere around there. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But the, but it was, the, it was August 12th at 3:30 in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, no, that's exactly. Season. <laughs> season. But, but yeah. But yeah, the, th the the point I was making is that as a YouTuber, you need to have upload, upload. bandwidth. You need to be able to upload videos, right. and you've been able to do that since you got the booster. Yeah. yeah, I would have been stuck out there for. We were there for a little over a week, and I wouldn't have been able to upload any videos at all. And I uploaded, I think, three while we were there. Yeah. I know we've moved over here, and it's kind of the same situation. I don't have any internet. Unless this booster, you know, I can I can unplug this, nothing works. Yeah. Okay. I mean, just nothing. When I plug this in, it it works in the evening because, like I said, I'm I'm on a low quality or low low priority uh, uh, cell phone plan. You're on visible with lock. Okay, I can say that. Visible. I didn't know if I was allowed to say that. Yeah. Anymore. But yeah, I'm on visible, and I'm like the third one in priority. There's there's the Verizon that pay the the, the, the postpaid, higher, you know, postpaid, yeah. and then there's the Verizon the prepaid, prepaid, uh, and then and there's then, visible, <laughs> and then there's visible, which is a, a, a subsidiary, or whatever of of uh, Verizon. Yeah. It's super cheap, but you take it in the butt whenever. Um, uh, whenever it comes to priority, if if if, if somebody else is closer by, they get priority over you, and that doesn't really bother until like rush hour, you know, walking there. Yeah. Out here where we're camping and stuff, of course we're camping where there's big events and stuff like that. And there's a lot more people than normal. So they have a tower here that's supposed to do a fifty thousand town, a town with about fifty thousand people in it. Now they got 150,000 people in it, mm. and the tower just can't keep up, and that's kind of everybody's problem. So I. Uh, like I said, the booster is not going to help the you. The booster is not helping that. The yeah. booster will just help with the signal, not not the speeds. Or I guess, or how you can explain that better than yeah. I can. But that's why I understand it. I'm. Everybody's kind of slow here simply because of the. Everybody's trying to rush in the door at, at the the you know the, the store you know, like Black Friday. Yeah. There's only one door and 500 people trying to go through at one time, and yeah. that's why the internet slows down out here. I, I explain. We're out here for the race, and mm -hmm. there's there's like twice as many people here today than there was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So it's definitely yeah, going to get get my busy. Phone, I can get my phone right now, and I can't I can't do anything now. Midnight tonight, I'll have fine upload speeds because everybody will be asleep at yeah. midnight or whatever. So I can get on do my editing or whatever during the afternoon or evening and then midnight tonight I can upload it and it'll upload a video in you know 
10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Whereas if I tried to do it during the day, it, would, it wouldn't even try. Yeah. And, and that's nothing to do with this booster. That's with the cell tower itself and, and the volume of people. So it sounds like you said you were looking into getting one of these now for your travels. Yeah, um, I'm actually going to get the one for the semis. Because I'm okay. a truck driver during yeah. the summer, and I'll probably grab, grab one for my semi. It'll, it'll, you can explain the difference. This one here is a travel 4G2 yeah, RV this, version. This and is they, a more powerful version. They have the trucker version, which is a cradle on the dash, right? It yeah. has a different temp antenna. Yeah. I'm more interested in the antenna than the cradle. But. That's the one I have on the side-by-side -side is the truck one, the okay. semi one. Right. And then what's the third one? Well, they have a home one, an home. RV one, okay. and uh, they have a couple of travel ones right. that are uh, differently priced. Like, they have really cheap ones that are, like, really low power, like 30 decibels. Mm -hmm. This is a 50 decibel, and that's mm -hmm. that's just, just as powerful as the $500 one I have on my van. Right. Okay. But this is just significantly cheaper. Is this high boost? is it, like, uh, one of your... Are, have you been dealing with them for a long time, or, or no, is this new? Or you just... Not a long time. They, they contacted me about a year ago mm -hmm. for this exact same model. Mm -hmm. And this is the one that disappeared at his house <laughs> somehow. Ronnie! Yeah. I still haven't found it. He, uh -oh. he, he magically said he can't find this big-ass uh -oh. box in his garage. It would be on my rig right now if I could find it. I'll <laughs> yeah. tell you right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he's actually really gotten a lot of use out of it since yeah. he's been here. <laughs> so. But But they... Uh, you know, they have this this high, this is a little more expensive, but it's also one of the most powerful ones. It's designed for RVs or longer vehicles. Mm -hmm. That's so why you, you have these antennas further apart. You just have to put yeah. those antennas further so apart. Maybe put the antenna way at the back of the rig and put the wire, the, the internal antenna way up on yeah, the Yeah, way up in the front. Yeah. So the truck one is, is less powerful, and that's why the antenna can be on the mirror. Mm -hmm. And then the little cradle that holds your cell phones on the inside right on Which your dashboard. Is, it's five feet away. As far as the crow flies, it's only about five or six feet apart. Yeah. yeah about so six feet. Yeah. It's less powerful, but it does the same thing. And you put a hot spot in there, too. It doesn't have to be a cell phone. Okay. You can put a hot spot in the cradle or whatever. Could you get the trucker antenna and the internals of this? Mm -hmm. And so I don't have that kind of antenna out there. I have a you can you can put whatever antenna you want on it, really. Okay. The packages are like because I could run this and put this antenna way at the very back of the sleeper, and you're looking about twelve feet, about about as far apart as we are here, so it should work. Yeah. So the the three parts are the internal antenna. So it's like the internal. Yeah, I'm gonna show it back. So the internal yeah. antenna. So here here are the parts. You have the internal antenna, which is. It, it varies depending on which model you get. So the trucker one has a little cradle. The RV one has this, and then they have um, a bigger one than this. I think it's got a different antenna. And then they have the home version, which is like a giant mm -hmm. um, box. Mm -hmm. The uh, RV antenna is different on this model. If you get the trucker model, it's like a springy antenna. And then there's a lesser model, which just has a little magnetic antenna. You just clip mm -hmm. on the top of your, mm -hmm. your car. Yeah. And they're all powered by DC 12 volts or USB. That's what I was just going to show you here. Let me open this up. And um, here's on the inside of this. And you'll probably do a, a review on the inside of this and everything. But what I was surprised, oh, that's USB. It's, it's got, you can do AC wall outlet. Mm -hmm. You can do DC cigarette plug outlet. Or USB. This, this plugs right into it. Or you can plug this in cigarette outlet or just unplug it and go into a, so there's three things yeah they all kind of interchangeable whatever kind of power supply you have it works and i really like that because the wilson ones didn't yeah. have that what would i i would have been kind of like damn what a piece of junk i you know if, if i would have opened the thing up not a junk but i would have been very disappointed had i opened the thing up and the only thing it had was a usb yeah. plug and I didn't have this particular kind of junk. All I had was, you know, 110 or 12 volt out of the cigarette dash. Yeah. Where am I going to plug this in? I'd have to go buy one of these, or yeah. let's say this is the only way it charged was from this. Uh -huh. Then I'd have to run the cable all the way up to the front to plug it into the dash, and then I'd have to keep the key. So yeah. having the options was really, really nice. I'm, yeah. I'm really pleased well, to see that. A lot of the times, it, it's just. 12 volt. Right. Like for these RV and car ones, it's mm -hmm. usually just 12 volt, but High Boost gives you this option so mm -hmm. you can run it any way you want. Right. You can run this off a of Jackery. Okay, so in summary, you're you're happy with it and you're probably going to get one. No, it's terrible. I hate it. Okay. I'm just teasing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll probably grab one. I'm, I want to see if I can't talk you out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I could finish the review. Yeah, I finish can... the review and mail it to me. Yeah. yeah so. Okay, well, thanks, Stan. He's it's got a, a lot of other friends he likes better than me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Any other questions? Nope. All right, now get out of my van. All right. <laughs> Take Th care. Thanks, Stan. Bye. 
So one of the things Stan did was he did before and after screenshots of a speed test that he had on his phone. So here is the screenshot for before he actually turned on the booster. And here is the screenshot after he turned on the booster. You can see it is a night and day difference. In fact, for him, in this situation where we were on state trust land in Arizona, it was a difference between getting online and not. It wasn't even a speed issue, it was a connectivity issue because we were down in this gully. All around us on pretty much three sides, almost four sides, we had tall hills around us and we were kind of like down in the bottom as sort of like crater-shaped area. Well, the cell phone towers were like up here. They were up way above the rim of this gully off in the distance, a couple of miles in Lake Havasu. What we did was we put our antennas up and it allowed us to get some signal from the tower, but it not only allowed us to get a signal, it would boost it. So generally how it was at our camp was anybody who had a cell phone booster was able to get online, watch Netflix, upload YouTube videos, whatever they needed to do. And those of us without cell phone boosters basically had no internet for a week. That was the difference between having this high boost system and not. So there you have it. There's an honest review by somebody who has never even used one of these before. And Stan was very surprised at how well it worked. In fact, he was so surprised, he said he's willing to fork out and buy one of these things now. So I'm pretty sure one part of his van build eventually, he's going to go ahead and install one of these boosters. I think he's going to get the trucker model instead of this one. That one's slightly more expensive, but it has more of a flexible antenna. I'm going to do a separate review on the trucker version of this. So that brings me to the models. High Boost has this model, which is the RV model. This is like in the middle of the road. The trucker booster one is the top of the line mobile model. And then there's a car version, which is the lowest of the three. They all do 50 decibel boost. Really, the only difference is in the gear. You all get the same booster but the antennas are different. So there is a little bit of a price difference between the three models, but they all do the same 50 decibels boost. Now, which one you want to get is going to depend on how large your vehicle is. This one's actually designed for probably the largest vehicles because it has a big indoor antenna. The trucker version has a smaller indoor antenna, but a better outdoor whip antenna. Because you're inside of a small cab of a truck, you really don't have a lot of distance between the indoor antenna and the outdoor antenna. Whereas in an RV, they expect you to have a longer distance between the indoor antenna and outdoor antenna. And as for the car booster, that actually has a cradle you put your phone into. That has the least amount of uh, indoor antenna boost than all three products. And that one is also the cheapest. Whichever one you want to get, they all work pretty much the same. They all use the same app and everything else. So if you're interested in the high boost, 4G 2.0 RV, there is a link in the description below with a 20% off coupon. That's right, you get a 20% off promo code with any of the high boost mobile models. I do have a separate code if you're interested in the home models. Now I did a review well, several months ago, actually it was last year, on the high boost model for your home. So if you live in a rural area and you're using Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, something like that, some kind of cellular service for your internet like I do here, that home boost model by high boost actually works excellently. I've been using it for several months straight now since I moved into this new place and it's worked flawlessly. I've been using high boost products for several months now. I've never had any problems with them. They work as intended. In fact, the trucker model I have installed on my side-by-side, -side, so when we're out riding in remote areas, I can get a cell phone signal if we need to look up maps or in case we have to make an emergency phone call as we break down or something like that. So again, if you're interested in any of the high boost models, there is a link in the description below that'll take you to the high boost 4G 2.0 RV. And don't forget there's that 20% off coupon for all the mobile models, and I do have a separate coupon code for the home versions. So that's all there is to it. Click the link, add it to your cart, put the code in, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. Go over sit. Go over sit. Go over sit. No. You sit. There you go. Lay down. Down. Sit down. Down.
You want a piece of cheese? You want a piece of cheese? Okay. Come here, come here, monkey. There you go. Up, up, up. There you go. <laughs> Everybody will recognize him. Monkey. <laughs> it's the high boost. Something, 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 something. Travel 4G 2.0 RV. Now, how many times is it going to take me to get this right? Let's 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 say at least three. It is the High Boost Travel 2.0. It is the High Boost Travel 2.47359811. It is the High Boost Travel 4G 2.0 RV. And the table's too high. It is the High Boost Travel 2.0. Travel 4G, 2.0 RV. RV Golf Guy, Don Fulma, Drew Hong, and Medic Audio Repair, Andrew Moore.